Wet weather really in the eastern third of the nation rolling towards the east coast today. There is a chance for more severe storms stretching from the southeast right around the Gulf Coast areas up towards the Carolinas. So something to keep an eye on there, which again may disrupt travel. As we go through the day, you can see all of this rain pushing towards the mid-Atlantic region up to the north. There's going to be some snow flying in parts of the northeast as well. Now by tomorrow morning, a lot of the rain is off the coast. And then certainly as we get later in the day, Wednesday, things are drying out for the east coast there. That's good to see for the day before Thanksgiving. And then I'll take you a little farther into Thanksgiving and the nation as a whole. Not a lot of wet weather. There's some snow in uh, parts of the northern Rockies. And also you'll see this low kind of drifting through the Gulf. This is what gives us our next little rain chance on Thanksgiving, maybe uh, more so along the coast. Otherwise, for most of us, it's just cloud cover without the rain on Thanksgiving Day. But we'll put a 20% chance there just because a few minor showers may drift through the area. But otherwise, we're mostly dry all the way through at least the start of this weekend. Then we see another disturbance coming overhead by Sunday, which gives gives us a better chance for some more widespread rain. And our high temperatures day by day, instead of the 82 we had yesterday, it's feeling way cooler today. The wind with temps in the 50s, and we're going to kind of hold in the same range through Thanksgiving. Now, Friday and Saturday after Thanksgiving, we warm up a little bit, but still upper 60s, which is still on the cool side for this time of year. On our 10-day forecast here, you see these cool temperatures. Again, there's not much rain through the rest of this week, but as we get into Sunday, we see some of that rain moving back in, and all the way through the 10-day forecast, we really don't see a rebound in temperatures. If anything, we might actually cool down again next week with some of those high temperatures holding pretty close to 60 degrees.